Hi, Jay Silver with Helicon, and we're out here today in Newport Ritchie, Florida on one of our foundation repair sites where we're doing soil stabilization with chemical grout underneath this ranch style home. They were seeing uh, signs of erosion, settlement uh, going on around the foundation. The solution uh, to, to stabilize the soils, compact them, and put this, this foundation back on solid ground was chemical grout. It's a uh, polyfoam or polyurethane uh, people call it's a, a two-part uh, chemical uh, when combined through the gun that's going to be hooked up to these steel tubing that's eh, I guess you'd say about the size of your uh, your pinky finger and uh, Alexis is getting these these staged and ready they're gonna uh, insert these down to about five feet underneath the foundation of this home and then they're gonna start to inject uh, the material under low pressure at five feet and what's that's gonna do um, you know these are done at every every five feet that's going to to really solidify compact strengthen these soils underneath the foundation of this home uh, preventing and protecting it from downward settlement as well as erosion and we'll just take a quick a quick walk around we're starting down on the end and I uh, see Alexis is working in these these points at about every five feet and uh, he'll be inserting these on down to five feet we'll have points on the on the perimeters in the areas where we have concrete uh, they drill these points in uh, to, to insert the rods we also are are protecting this stem wall or retaining wall by adding stability to the homes foundation so we're going to be coming down through this whole entire section here's a little bit of area where they were getting some erosion uh, so once we we get in install all of our chemical grout then they will come back in and probably bring in some fill dirt possibly put down some grass to uh, one put this home's foundation back on solid ground uh, but also to protect it from the erosion as well again very simple process every five feet apart five feet down and then they'll put uh, you know anywhere from about 20 pounds of uh, the material at each point and uh, you know working their way around the foundation protecting against again you some more of this erosion um, you also can see the the sloping uh, downward towards the the lake here so and just shoring up solidifying strengthen the soils underneath this home's foundation so here we are on the back uh, part of this uh, foundation repair soil stabilization uh, elvin's pumping on on one of the points that's five feet down uh, we've worked our way from this section and this is uh, an example of the material that we're building uh, underneath the ground and the foundation it expands about gosh about 20 times its size and if you feel this it's just starting to cure but this this will be hard as a rock once this cures and really puts that foundation on top of solid ground. This does not mix into the soils. It compacts and strengthens. Um, so again, giving it a, a solid base uh, to rest upon. And they're going to uh, continue with the, the, the gun. Um, there's two hoses you see down here at the, at the end, uh, the red and the blue. And inside of our trailer rig, there's a red 55 gallon drum and a blue. The chemical, uh, once it comes through the gun, it mixes and reacts down the tube and then expands 20 times into this, this material. So again, they'll, they'll continue working their way uh, around the perimeter, uh, building that, that solid uh, soil underneath the foundation. And uh, this home will, will be uh, back on solid ground once we're done so as uh, elvin's pumping on another point um, he's looking for a few indicators um, as he builds these uh, bulbs up at five feet uh, he's looking for either grout to surface uh, to bubble up somewhere in the area where he's pumping he's also closely uh, watching and listening to the house for any cracking or or uh, creaking or signs of of movement and in in this case as he pumps on this point oh here we go we have some bubbling up uh over here in the in the corner 
So, uh, you know, again, pumping on, on the point at this location, and then it ended up bubbling up over in there. So, you know, as you see, the, the product is just is spidering out. It's expanding, really compacting and strengthening the soil. And uh, within about 10, 15 minutes, you can really feel this go from a foam where you can push into it to now it's, it's almost a solid, solid rock. So uh, again, bubbled up over there in the corner. So that point is, is complete. And then he's gonna move over onto this uh, next point every five feet apart. And you'll probably see some of the, you know, if I had to guess in this zone, some of the material bubble up somewhere in this area or this area. But uh, stay tuned, we'll, we'll see where when he's pumping on this point where it uh, bubbles up next. And it looks like if this you, point if you look very is closely, right complete. Here. So, uh, yeah, let's get down here. He's saying to, you see how this pipe to look real close. Off of this dirt line right uh, here. Yeah, you can see the pipe is starting to lift. You and know, all slightly. this right here was also empty. All the dirt was pushed up up against the foundation, which is nice. Okay, so not only you know, do we show that it has supported it's pushed some of this dirt that's eroding uh, back up uh, against the house, and that's exactly what we want to see uh, with our with our process. So again, starting on a, another point that's down five feet, and as we we pump underground, we're building up uh, the two-part polyurethane chemical grout material, and that's gonna gonna support this this foundation. Uh, possibly on this one we may see it bubble out or before that um, bubble out in a certain location or before that the home may start to experience a uh, slight lift and that's where we'll we'll stop that stabilization so you kind of see some you know, bubbling out here um, just showing that we've we've filled that soil zone in that area and as long as we uh, as long as we hit the chemical grout with uh, with water right away, comes right off the house. Um, the product is also 100% green friendly, so it won't harm any wildlife or any any animals uh, or the environment as well. With retaining walls, you have a few different options. Uh, you can put some sort of pier underneath the retaining wall to support it and extend the uh, you know extend the load. Of the foundation down to more of a load bearing uh, strata so putting a bracket underneath and uh, inserting that down or torquing in a, a helical pile to support either sometimes even lift and relevel a retaining wall um, the other option which is very cost effective and uh, what was elected out for this uh, retaining wall was to utilize soil stabilization uh, with our chemical grout or two-part polyurethane. We're gonna insert these pipes uh, approximately about five feet down and then pump the material. The chemical grout underneath the wall is going to, one, it's, it doesn't mix with the soils. It will compact and strengthen those soils and give more load-bearing support so this wall is not settling down. Also support and prevent uh, some of the erosion. Um, so if you if you have a retaining wall and you have questions about how to support that wall and maybe some different options whether you should go with with a you know, push pier or a stem wall pier or a helical pile or maybe chemical grouting is right for your project reach out to Helicon happy to come out do a free inspection and consultation to see what option is best for you and your family.